by some very annoying roommates that will be frying palm oil in the middle of the night. How old boys and their whinings? They call it Aro. A R O. They will whine you. One corner. Hey, Jesus Christ. You guys, you find out that the same guy that asks you out also asks this person out. And you're like, what do you hope to gain? What do you. Then they steal. Oh, you part one girls. Then they steal. Yeah. Because you will spread your clothes, you go inside, you come back and say, I want to buy clothes. Yeah, they have carried your clothes. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Hey, loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are an OG, if you are coming back again, and welcome to my channel. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Ifeo Lua Oni. And by the title, you already know what we're doing in today's video. In the spirit of going back to school very soon, in Jesus' name, Amen, Amen, Amen. In the spirit of going back to school, I tried to do something school related. So it's sort of a story time, it's just gist, you know. I'm just going to be talking about my first year experiences in Obafemi Awolowo University, popularly known as OAU. Great Ife, great. You don't know the school, I'm sure you know it. If you have word citation, then you know the school. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, and I'm sure you want to watch, so keep on watching. However, before we start, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please give this video, please subscribe. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please subscribe and put on the post notification bell so you get notified whenever I post videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Some of you always forget. And leave loads and loads and loads of comments. I love like replying. I love replying your comments, so please leave comments. Tell me your experiences in the comment section below. I want to, you know, know what you experienced. Yeah, and then share the video with your friends. And without further ado, let's start. So, you guys, I decided to group this into five different aspects. And I hope to be very fast. So, number one is the struggle. The struggle. In the anthem, it even says, uh, um, hey, sports and struggle. I think so. So, the first aspect is the struggle. The second aspect is they'll catch them young. If you know you know you don't know what catch them young is but like the toasting of final year students or stay like to freshers so the second aspect is the catch them young part the third aspect is the fun the fun the fun the fourth aspect is the academics uh, the main reason why we're on campus and then the last aspect i just like to do a or b even though it should not be a or b but there are different things under that aspect so you guys the first aspect i'm going to be talking about is the struggle the struggle like i said oh you even know his anthem the struggle but i'm sure in every school you surely struggle especially since you're just entering the school you don't know your way around things and stuff like that the first part of the struggle eh is when you are going to class you are running from one class to the other yes i went to a boarding school but please we just used to sit in one class and do all our classes man all take all our subjects and hope but this one you will have one class at Amphitheater. Sorry for those people that are not always sent. I'll try to explain. You have one class of amphitheater, and then you have to run to 1,000 sitters for the next class. And guess what? There's no time in between. So your first class is 9 to 10 a.m. Your second class is 10 to 11. So it's not like you have any break. And the annoying thing is, you are taking those classes with other people. You are taking those classes with some people that didn't have class in the morning. So they they're just coming from their hostels. And part one students, they're always very serious. Especially those science students. For 7 a.m. class and 8 a.m. class, they're already there from 3 a.m. What happened? Well, it's part of the struggle because I'm serious to tell you, go there by 2, go there by 3. But seriously, if you don't go there early, you will not see it. So I understand. What am I saying? You have a class. Night 10, another class 10 to 11, and there are some people whose first class is just that 10 a.m. So they're already there from 9 30. But you, you are struggling to run from your former class to your other class, and then you don't get it. And what? The lecturer does not even care. The lecturer is just in front, teaching, just talking fast. You are just at the back, trying to struggle to look for seats, struggling. To... 
you guys i struggled with it i struggled with it yes i was not i'm not a science student so my own did not have to be going to class by 3 a.m but still in our own little way we struggled so i said i was going to explain to non OA students how do i just think about a place that is far two places that are far yeah that's how it is also under this aspect of struggle we have hostel hostel struggle you're just you know you are just coming together for the first time i went to a boarding school like i said before so i won't say the hostel thing was so bad because i had felt something like that but it was still different so when there is no water you struggle to get water sometimes it's just like it's not better for me not to take my baits than to just be stand you will stand there for hours and you might still not get water that's how bad the, bad the struggle for water in those cells were. The next aspect, which I titled the toasting aspect, the catch them young, you guys. All those stillites. But I think mainly started from part three, part three, part four, part five, and the likes. When part one students come, the catch them young, you know it's for girls now. When they come, it's like it is a planned thing that okay i'm going to ask out as many girls as i can before they before they go before they will have sense i'm going to ask out as many girls as i can you will see guys the funny thing is you know you have some friends now so when you guys are gc you find out that the same guy that asks you out also asks this person out and you're like what do you hope to gain what do you hope to achieve and the annoying thing is all those part one guys will not be vexed they'll be like because they, they will also be trying to ask out their mates out now you know they, there's no other person they can ask out they cannot go and be asking out all those part two part three part four people so they're trying to ask out part one girls but part one girls are not using they're using them to you know they're <laughs> They are not giving their face. Why? Because of the stillites that are asking them about. They don't know that all those stillites, they just want to use them and dump them. It was bad. Like, if you come to the front of Mozambique, that's part one girl's hostel. If you come to the front of that hostel at night, the amount of guys you will see. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, most of them are not freshers. Most of them are stillites. All these stillites guys that just want to catch girls that do not, do not even know their bearings. And I'm so grateful that you don't fall for any of those guys because I'm telling you they will come. They will come. They will even need that for you. <laughs> they will need that for you. So yeah, that's the second part. The catch them. Young. So the third thing that I, um, the third aspect is the fun aspect, right? So this also has to do with class hostel. Before I entered with you, I prayed to God. I was like, God, please give me the best type of roommate. Like just give me a very good set of roommate, please, please. And God did just that. See, ask God, we be talking to God and asking for what you want. He gave me a very, like, a very lo a lo a lovely set of roommates, really. I loved being with them. And if you are watching, if any of you is watching, I love you guys so much. <laughs> so, you guys, there was this, me and my roommates, sometimes we just enter our head and we just start singing, dancing. Do we? we it was like we knew each other from way back so we we'll do this thing called semo puff i don't know if you know it. it's semo we used to make something like pop puff we'll make semo puff we'll make is this zobo no they used to make zobo we'll make a uh, when they call this drink hey how would i forget punch we'll make punch we'll make semo puff we'll eat it we'll, we'll eat it we'll play songs we'll dance when this song was raining now i do i, I can't dance I start dancing again but uh, what's the name of this song one corner hey jesus christ you guys you i don't want to mention the names of my roommates but the nonsense things they did not nonsense like nonsense but when you just hear that song just jump on one bed just, it was it was we were just having fun actually in our own way also there was freshers week there was a lot of things that just made way you fun for me in part one yes the freshers week in department the faculty i don't think i really did i participated in the faculty but in my department i really participated and it was fun and that was where i met some of my friends carrie bell dami it was fun it was fun so the next aspect is the academics which is the main reason why we are in that school right it's the main reason why we went to school you guys it was not easy in fact it is still not easy I, yeah i know schools are not easy but i can only speak for the one i know and it's not easy to be a student of OAC. if you are a student of OAC, i give you a hand like this if you graduated from OAC, i give you a hand like this it's not easy in fact from any school it's not easy but i'll speak for my school right so you guys 
getting to start lectures, meeting lecturers, you just meet some very hard lecturers. Like, you're like, why are you so hard? Life is not this difficult, sir. Life is not this difficult, ma. Just, you don't have to take life serious. They're like, my lecturers did it for me when I was in school, so we do it for you. You see lecturers that, that are annoyingly giving people nonsense results. It wasn't easy having to, you know, cope and balance all these things, balance my academics. It was not easy, man. We started this group reading with some of my friends. Ah, I really enjoyed it and I wish we could continue, but most of us moved outside campus, right? So, but it was academics having to combine or to balance or to even would see, even myself. You guys, it wasn't easy. The night reading, okay, like I said, I went to a boarding school. We used to have night prep, but night prep was seven to nine. But coming to where you where there is no night because even at two a.m., three a.m., you are seeing people walking up and down. You learn how to start reading at midnight. I learned how to start reading at night. I did. see in my house this come from way before because once it's like nine nine p.m., I will sleep off. But now, now. You will really catch me sleeping up by even 12. You will really catch me sleeping by 12. Why? Because oh, you opened my eyes. I keep putting H. Oh, you opened my eyes. And so the last aspect, which is the AOB, I have different things under this aspect. So I have the aspect of fighting. When people are fighting. Ah, you guys, when people used to fight. Oh, no, let me start with the stealing. <laughs> then they steal. Oh, you part one girls, then they steal. Yeah, I know guys and all that. They, they also steal, but it was bad. She was like, every other day, someone, they were catching, they caught someone that was stealing. And they would carry you to the escort room. They would beat you. They would do, but they used to steal in that part one stay. Just so you know. When you, are, when, you, when you hang your clothes like this, from your room, you go, they watch the clothes. Like, if I catch you, if I catch you there, if I catch you there. That's how it was. Because... You will spread your clothes, you go inside, you come back and say, I want to bake clothes here. Yeah, they have carried your clothes. What a poon. They were carrying you on this. Hi. I have experienced it before. So it was not you. So you guys, under this aspect, there were some very annoying roommates that would be frying palm oil in the middle of the night. Who does that in a room where there is no fan? Even if there is fan, it's not something you should do. But now there is no fan. You will not come around 11 p.m. and come and be fine, by Why? Do you want to kill your roommates? Is it a crime that we're in the same room? Very annoying. And that's just one of the annoying things that they used to do. There were several things that some of your roommates would just do. We just play. Check. Next thing under this aspect, I'm about to end this video because I think it's becoming too long, is the whining. People that are ancient OAU you now, they are not really experiencing these things. But if you were in OAU during my set or during my set, set, my set, <laughs> our boys, if you know our boys, comment in the comment section now. Our boys and their whinings, they call it arrow, A R O. They will whine you, guys. See, don't just enter their hostel. If you are, if you are, if you are meek-minded, if, if, if you are weak, don't enter their hostel because you will cry out of their hostel. Because and you will not know that they are whining you because the way they will make it serious, eh? Because then I enter the hostel on a Sunday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, you guys, and somebody upstairs just shout, shouting, "Ash, Ash, na shawo, na shawo, go." Sunday afternoon, oh, it's not like it's even in the night, oh. But those days, our boys, now they have come down. Our boys then, they will whine you. They will whine you. And there's nothing you can do about it. You only just be walking. Because if you turn back and say you want to face them, I'm telling you, you will cry. You will cry. So yeah, guys, there are still some things I would have loved to mention. But this video is getting so long already. So I think I'm just going to be ending it here. Tell me your... Tell me your experiences in the comment section below. I want to know your experiences. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You guys, let's get to 1,000 subscribers before my one year anniversary. 1,000 subscribers. We have about... We have less than 400 to go. So please, let's do well to share, share, and share. Until next time, guys. Bye.